Yeah. Right, guys, taste this. Yeast extract. Oh. Oh. You don't want it. Mm. <laughs> I like it too. Oh, horrible. <laughs> there are some foods that completely divide us. Unbelievably yummy for some, a downright yucky for others. So how do food factories come up with tastes that give us such extreme reactions? Oh. So what does chocolate mean to you? Everything. It's a necessity. Is it? Couldn't live without it. We all choke up on it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you chew this? No. Have a go. What do you reckon this has got to do with a piece of chewing gum like that? I'll be revealing the secrets behind some of the foods that delight and disgust us by making them food factory style. There are some foods we buy week after week, while others never make it on the shopping list. But why do we love some foods and loathe others? And what goes on behind the scenes to create these monsters or marvels of the supermarket shelves? I'm going to set up my own food factory in this barn to find out how it's done. It may look as though it's full of junk, but it's got everything I need to discover the secrets of supermarket food. Now, there is one supermarket product that really divides people on the yuck-yum spectrum, and it's this stuff, yeast extract. For some people, it has a taste to die for. For others, it tastes like something's died. OK, now, I've got a little something for you. Tell me what you think of it, and then tell me what the flavours are. Take that. You don't like that at all? No. no. You're not a big fan? That's mustard. Yeasty. Yeasty. Mm -hmm. Sort of musky, in a good way. Beefy, salt. I'll get easy of that on toast. You'd quite enjoy that, would you? Oh, yeah. So what gives it its massive flavour? Here in the barn, I'm fully equipped to go back to basics and make my own yeast extract.